Hello everyone and welcome back to Malmora TCG. Today's video we're taking a look at a couple of decks from the base set through gym challenge yep. format. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, what was it, Brock's Gyarados? Brock's Ninetales. Brock's yeah. Ninetales, yeah. Versus uh, Dark Vile Plume. Mm -hmm. Those are the decks right there. And of course we are playing Wizards of the Coast era rules, as you can see right here. Nothing broken in there at all. No, nothing broken at all. All so, right. I'm on the left. I'm starting with the Brock's Uh as the first deck Hypnotic Gaze. Uh, then I play a Brock's Protection, which is a essentially it's a tool card. Attach it to one of your Pokemon with Brock in its name, and energy cards attached to the Pokemon can't be removed by your opponent's attacks or trainer cards. Still, the other effects of the attacks still go through. Yep, so if I flip for confusion or something, it would still go into effect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I play the computer search, discard two other cards from your hand in order to search your deck for one card, put it into your hand, then shuffle the deck. Go grab Erica's Dratini with the Poke Power Strange Barrier. If when this Pokemon takes damage, it goes down to ten. It only only ever takes ten unless it's affected by a special condition. And then I play the Knightly Garbage Run to shuffle one Pokemon or up to three from Pokemon and basically energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. I only had one, so I shuffled one, and then played Professor Oak. Discard my hand, draw seven cards. Am I caught up? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I believe you did catch up. Okay. Well, nope, not anymore. All right, there's a, then I play a stadium card, Narrow Gym. Essentially says that each player can only have up to four bench Pokemon instead of five. And then Hypnotic Gaze to put you to sleep. And you stay to sleep. You done? All yeah. right. <laughs> So yes, of course, I'm playing the Dark Vile Plume deck. Play build to draw two cards right there. All right. There are a couple of options in the hand. I see Misty's Wrath. Yeah, the Misty's Wrath is a very interesting card. Very aggressive card. Let's see if I play it here. And I do. It's Look at the top seven cards of the deck. Yes. Choose two of those cards. Yeah, look, two <laughs> Misty's right away. Choose two of those cards, put put them into your hand, discard the rest. I mean, you could basically play your whole deck out this turn if you wanted. I really could, but I don't want to. Uh-huh. Okay, we're going to grab a computer search. I can't, didn't see what that, the other was. That was an Imposter's Oak Revenge, I believe. Yeah. Get rid of the Psyduck. Yes, get rid of Psyduck and Erica. I'm going to Erica, draw three cards, then your opponent may draw three cards. It says up to three cards, so yep. I, can only draw, I can draw one if I really want. Right. So lucky to get a Psyduck off that. Another Erica. Draw three, draw three. You might be thinking, why would you play a trainer that lets your opponent draw cards? Mm -hmm. well, I will show you in a little bit. Uh, play Switch. Self-explanatory. Switch one of your... Bench Pokemon to the active. Computer search. We just talked about computer search. Yeah. And I'm going to grab that Psychic Energy. And then I'm going to Imposter Oak's Revenge. Discard a card from your hand in order to play this card. Your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and then draws four cards. It was too good to be true. Yep. That's kind of the combination. You play the Erica's, let your opponent draw you know, all the cards, and you draw a lot of cards. And then you just Imposter Oak them. Yeah, you just have a better bill in your deck, essentially. Yep. Another Oddish. And then I'm going to use the attack Headache. Your opponent can't play any trainer cards during his or her turn. Well, guess what? I don't have any trainer cards, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put you to sleep. That's fine. <laughs> All right, and I wake up. Mm -hmm. That was a quick turn from you. Yeah. All right, there's Dark Gloom with the Poke Power Pollen Stench. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin of heads. The defending Pokemon is now confused. Tails, your active Pokemon is now confused. Can't be used if, you know, <laughs> this Pokemon's affected by special condition. Yeah. All right, another computer search. Get rid of Dark Fire Plume and Dark Golduck to get Snorlax. With the Pokemon Power Thick Skinned. Can't be affected by special conditions. Yeah, it combos really well with the Dark Gloom. It really does. 
All right, I drew for turn, tat for turn. And put down another Bratz Volpix, because why not? And put you back to sleep. Yep. Looks like you're going to stay asleep for now. For now. That means you can play trackers next turn. Well, we'll see. Maybe you'll pull a double switch on me. Would I be that mean and do that to you? Yes. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to use the Pokemon Power Heads and I'm going to confuse the Vulpex. Mm -hmm. I do have the Oak in hand, which hurts because I did have the Dark Vile Plume. I did not want to evolve right now. Yeah, yeah, because then you wouldn't be able to play the Oak. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, right. the Sabrina's Gaze is just to, like, make me shuffle my hand in and draw that many cards. Right. Test double colors to the Snorlax. And then I think I just passed, and yep, yep I woke up. I can play Trainers. You can. I could play this last and just get rid of my Oak, but no, I'd rather Oak. 100%. <laughs> Alright. Enough energy. I just needed the Brock's Ninetales and I didn't get it. I also didn't get any more trainers. No, just energy and Pokemon. Uh -huh. That's not good. And then... I'm confused, so I have to flip to see if I can put you to sleep now. Yep. And I hit myself with confusion, which is two damage counters it's supposed to be. Do you fix that after? I do, yeah. Okay. Catch Psychic to Snorlax. Oh, there you go. You mm -hmm. fixed it. Still thinking. <laughs> unless, um, <laughs> unless... No, it didn't freeze. Unless it, yeah, was, unless it froze or something. Uh -uh. Yeah, I was thinking for a little bit. Okay, another computer search. Maybe you were thinking you'd get another double colorless and attack this turn. Maybe... But I think I'm going for something else mm -hmm. here. So I'll just go to the Pokemon Breeder and the Psyduck to get Nightly Garbage Run. Because both of your Dark Vileplumes are in there. Yeah. I don't know why they had the duck face up. I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like we know each other's list or anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, there were two Dark Vileplumes in there. Yep. So we're going to get those back thinking on if I want to get something else, too. Yeah, I'll get the Dark Gold. Like, why not? Might need to draw three cards in the future. You yeah. never know. Yeah, looking at the wording here, making sure that it is up to three and not... You have to bet three, like some cards. So I could have chose one if I wanted. Yeah, it's something to look that up. Uh, I drew another bronze protection, it looks like, which isn't helpful because you headached me again. Uh, yeah. But I am going to attach to the Vulpix on the bench. And I think I'm going to attempt to retreat. Because for Wizard of the Coast area, you have to flip if you're confused in order to try to retreat. Yeah, very annoying. So you could essentially try to... Try to retreat, fail it, hit your. Do you still hit yourself? Or it just doesn't happen? It, uh, yeah. You just have to discard the energy and you don't retreat. Oh, that's, that's yeah. brutal. Mm -hmm. But you can retreat as many times as you want. So if you have the energy, you can keep trying to retreat. All right. All right. Put another energy on that Snorlax. And we do have the Dark Vile Plume, and Dark Vile Plume has the Pokemon Power Hay Fever. No trainer cards can be played from either side. Yep. Essentially what that says. So when I feel like I'm ready to go, I'm just going to hit with Snorlax, mm -hmm. 30 damage, and you're paralyzed. Yes. Yeah, the only piece you're missing is the other Dark Gloom to confuse me as well. Yep. I'm just keep drawing water Pokemon, but I need the Volt or the Ninetales first. Yeah. Considering I 
attention to the Dratini just to attack, get a little bit of damage in, but I'm gonna just keep going on the Thunderbolt Dance. Yep, just gonna draw and body slam. Because mm -hmm. I have two chances on the field that you have to get through first before right. the Vulpixes will come up. Yeah, I drew a train occurred. All right. Uh, another chancy. <laughs> what are the chances? Uh -huh. All right, then I'm going to scrunch. Flip a coin if heads prevent damage done to chancy during your opponent's next turn. Any other effects of the attack still happen. So you can still paralyze me. Yep. Bench another Snorlax. Attach the psychic energy. Body slam. Nothing. For nothing. Oh, no, 30. Because I flip tails. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. yeah. But you just don't paralyze me. Yeah. If, if your scrunch was successful, I can still paralyze. Yeah. It's mm, another tails. Yeah, I'm just going to let everyone know this is going to get a little boring. It's going to be a lot of flippies. Mm -hmm. Flippy, flippy, we flippy. We keep it pretty quick, though. Yeah, we're not, like, taking 20 minutes to decide the turn. No. Well, there's really not much to decide on. Right, really. exactly, yeah. It's like, oh, we can't play trainer cards? Okay, there's a heads for a sprinch. Yeah. Well, I'm still going to flip for paralysis. Yeah, you paralyzed me anyway. <laughs> hey! A Brox Nine Tails. Yay! Has the Pokemon power shapeshift. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may attach an evolution card from your hand to Brock's Ninetales. The Pokemon the Brock's Ninetales becomes that Pokemon, but it can't use the Poke powers of the Pokemon you switched it to. It can still use the attacks of the Brock's Ninetales and then the attacks of the Pokemon that have been attached to it. You may discard that Pokemon at any time during your turn and put another one on it. Essentially, it can evolve into any card in your hand but it doesn't have to evolve it just it's not it an evolution, it's just the ability yeah. mm -hmm. and then if this poke if that pokemon is affected by special condition of it course, stops working now yep and then that card goes to the discard pile yes the top whatever evolution card you put on top of it yeah got all that brox nine tails can be a little complicated mm -hmm. so during all this now i'm I can't remember what's going on. I just know there's a lot of flipping. I think I flipped heads on the scrunch and you were deciding you confuse me and then you paralyze me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Alright. Do you see a Snorlax? And body slam for knockout. Alright, what Pokemon do you get? Uh, I've got all, all three of my options in my hand. And you get the Blastoise, the Polyrath, and the Gyarados. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this deck plays three of the Gyarados, which is just a flat 70 for four. And plays one Polyrath and one Dark Blastoise. So the Polyrath has the attack Whirlpool. If the defending Pokemon has any energy cards attached to it, choose one of them and discard it. And it also does 40 damage. So I figured getting rid of the double colorless would be the best option for right now. Oh yeah, that is definitely the best option. Mm -hmm. But you confused me anyway, so it goes away. Yep. So it was a one-time thing. Yeah, unfortunately. But I had no other options, so... All right, so I have to attempt to retreat again because I can't use shapeshift while I'm confused at all. I do just put up another chancy as a wall. Then you attach the energy and loss for retreating and pass and wait. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm just waiting for the double colorless. And there's the heads. I'd love to play that super energy removal, but I can't. Yep. A lot of draw pass. Mm. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And now body slam. <laughs> oh. <Okay>. Yep. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of draw passes again as mm. we're drawing. The dumb trainer cards that neither of us can play. You would see, you would see this ability Vileplume has like a couple of times throughout the history of the TCG. 
Yeah. Um, there's one in Hercold Soul Silver. Yep. There's one from X and Y. X and Y. Yeah. When Forest of Giant Plants was legal. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about that. So yeah, Vileplume has had a history of being like, hey, you can't play these certain cards. Yes. Mm -hmm. But and later get switched to item cards. Yeah, not not all trainers, just yeah. That would just be broken. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I think the Heart Gold Soul Silver still said trainers. It did, yeah. Because you had supporter cards, stadium cards, yeah. not just the general branded trainer. Okay, so I'm going to shapeshift into a Dark Blastoise with Hydro Cannon. Does 30 plus 20 more for each additional water energy attached to Dark Blastoise. Can't add more than 40. Using this attack, so I did 70 damage with my four waters. So I knocked out one Snorlax after all that. After all that? Mm hmm. And I actually get to keep the Dark Blastoise for another turn. You, you can do. Confuse or paralyze me somehow. Yeah, you got lucky there. Alright, so I'm just gonna Hydro Cannon again, get the damage in. The Rocket Tackle is um, just a flip a coin. I can prevent all damage done to Dark Blastoise, not effects of attacks. So. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I went through all my resources very quick. and I, Yeah, what happened to your deck, Hunter? It's gone. It went bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the one bad part about Dark Vile Plume. You need to get through your resources as fast as possible to get the Dark Vile Plume. Uh -huh. Not too fast. Otherwise, that happens. All right, I'm going to shapeshift into a Mrs. Gyarados and just do 70 damage. The The reason the Mrs. Gyarados is in there is because of the Pokemon power. Um, whenever it attacks, you have to flip two coins. It has all cards of this go back into the deck, but that Pokemon power isn't active because shapeshift is the only power on yeah, the Pokemon. Shapeshift says you can't use the Poke power yeah. of the Pokemon that mm -hmm. you put on for the shapeshift yes. ability. Uh-huh. You got all that? Uh -huh. It's complicated, I know. It's fun. It's fine. I knocked out two Snorlaxes. You did. Nice. That'll do it for this episode, everyone. Make sure to hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, and be sure to join us for some more awesome perks right here on Mount Moon TCG.